67 Detroit riot. In late July 1967, 82 Detroit residents were celebrating the return of friends who had served in Vietnam at an unlicensed establishment. When police raided the building in the early hours of the morning, the crowd turned on them. The police initially fled and the party-going group evolved into a mob which began looting nearby buildings and burning cars. Out of control, the National Guard and even the 82nd Airborne Division were called in to help and often became engaged in shootouts with rioters. After five days, the estimated 10,000 rioters had been dispersed with 43 people killed, over 7,000 arrested, and 3,000 buildings looted or burned. 1968 Holy Week Uprising after the April 4th assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King, communities across the United States rose up in protest. In some cities like Washington, D.C., Baltimore, and Chicago, large-scale riots broke out as bands numbering in the thousands vented their anger and frustration. Federal soldiers were called in to back up the local police forces, and despite the scale of the riots, deaths were kept at a few dozen, which was relatively low when compared to the other riots in the 1960s America. The damage was extensive, however. Over several days of protests and riots, thousands of businesses in L.A. riots, in late April 1992, America was stunned when LAPD officers were acquitted following the beating of Rodney King, an incident that had been videotaped. For five days, rioters looted and destroyed shops and businesses and attacked commuters and shopkeepers. Thousands of federal troops arrived to help police regain control of the city. By the time the LA riots were over, 53 people had died and more than 2,000 had been injured in one of the worst riots America had ever experienced. 11 London riots. Also known as the UK riots, the London riots began in early August 2011 following a police shooting which outraged the local population in North London. A crowd of 300 protesters soon became violent when police failed to address their concerns. For six days, the riots grew and spread across London and several other English cities, including Manchester, Birmingham, and Liverpool. Rioters burned cars, buses, and buildings in addition to looting and battling the police. Football matches were canceled and 48,000 stores, shops, and businesses were either looted or forced to close. By the time order had been restored and the crowds dispersed, 100 homes were destroyed and five people killed. <laughs> video we rarely see, Fort Worth police on camera raiding a drug house. But tonight, a family says this video raises questions about the death of a man inside. Caught on camera. Proof. Transit police detain a group of men on a train platform. Hey! Several bystanders are recording the scene when unexpectedly, one of the officers draws his gun and pulls the trigger. Oh, 